Morning. Today we're looking at a day of sunshine and showers. Some of those will be heavy and thundery with some hail, wintry on the tops of the hills in Scotland particularly. But as the wind is going to be lighter, it won't feel quite as cold. Temperatures still below average. I'll have all the details coming up. Morning, Carol. It was indeed. Good morning, everybody. How cute were those ducklings? Now, today we're looking at a mixture of sunshine and showers. Some of the showers will be heavy and thundery, wintry on higher ground, and it's still going to feel chilly, although the wind won't be quite as strong as it's been in the last couple of days across parts of northern England. That will lift. Now, overnight, we've seen some of the snow showers in the north of Scotland getting down to about 150 metres. That snow level will rise as we go through the day. And we've also got some showers coming in across northern Ireland and Wales. Gusty winds around the showers, but nothing like we had yesterday. And with temperatures between 7 and Stornoway to about 12 as we come down towards London and Cardiff, it will still feel cool. These temperatures still below average. Another chilly night in prospect. And once again, we're looking at quite a bit of frost. So, Lou, keep your tomatoes indoors for now. I like this regular I'm tomato. I'm outfit. really, Carol, you know what? They're outside. <laughs> like now. I know. You've put them out. Well, they're only in, I'll put them back. They're in a pot. I'll put them back in again tonight. And it's also quite a cold start in Glasgow, but not just in Glasgow. Across many parts of Scotland and Northern England this morning, there is some frost around. Northern Ireland, Catesbridge, the temperature at the moment is freezing. Perth, two degrees. Bedford, two. London, three, as it's been in the last couple of days. Now, the low pressure that brought us all that rain has now drifted away, but we still are in this northerly or northwesterly airflow. That's a chilly direction for us to about 450 metres as we go through the day. The showers will continue. We've got showers across Northern Ireland and Wales, some of those wintry on the very tops of the hills, drifting eastwards as we go through the course of the afternoon. And some of those showers could be heavy and thundery with hail mixed in. Now, as we head on through the evening and overnight, many of the showers will fade, but we'll see further showers coming in across the north of Scotland, wintry down to about 150 metres. So that's quite modest levels. Temperatures 8 to 15 degrees. So you'll note the temperatures starting to climb a little bit. But as we head into the weekend, this deep area of low pressure looks like it's coming our way, bringing some strengthening winds and also some rain as it pushes northeastwards. But with it, it's also going to bring milder air as represented by the yellows and also the ambers during the course of Sunday. So unsettled probably sums up the weather for this week. Oh gosh, it really does. Thank you very much, Carol. Thank you. Good morning. Today we're looking at a day of sunshine and showers, but some of those showers will be heavy and thundery with some hail and wintry on the tops of the hills. Not as windy as yesterday, but still feeling cool. I'll have all the details coming up. A bit chilly, Carol, but not, no need for the big coat. How's it looking elsewhere in the UK today? Well, there is some frost around this morning, Dan. Good morning, everyone, particularly across parts of Northern England and Scotland and pockets also in Northern Ireland. There's some thunder in there and we've also got further showers across parts of Northern Ireland, Wales and South West England. And through the day, these showers will drift steadily eastwards. Some of them will be heavy and thundery with some hail embedded in them. It will come down again tonight, though. We can also see some wintriness coming out of the showers across Northern Ireland and Northern England, but really on very high ground and the same across Wales and here are the heavy showers, gusty winds around those showers but generally speaking the winds today are lighter coming in across the southwest. So I'll tell you all about that in half an hour. Lou and Dan. Carol, I'm going to ask you about, um, we were talking about um, snow on the pitch in Manchester yesterday yes. uh, where Manchester City managed to get the better of Paris Saint-Germain. Snow in May is pretty rare isn't it? Um, in the centre of a city, yes, it is rarer, but it's not unusual, or not particularly unusual, for example, in Scotland. I've known snow in June in the hills, or on the hills in Scotland, Dan. So There you go. At lower levels, yes, especially in England, but not so much in Scotland. Carol, that's the kindest ever way of <laughs> saying <laughs> shut up, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> well, but normally, on, on what I'm talking about, you know, she's so kind, isn't she? Like you say, such a diplomat. But normally, a football pitch in May to see to see them clearing snow off. That's that's the point well, I was for making. Dan. Sorry. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, Maybe that one, Dan. Yeah. Thank you for being so lovely as ever, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> She could have put me away quite spectacularly there, but she's, she's, been she's very, lovely. very kind. So anyway, Live on the again. beach. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Good morning, everybody. Actually, Dan, you were asking about the snow for the Manchester City game. 
about half an hour ago. I wonder if that was some heavy hail rather than snow. As we said, you can get snow in May, but it is more unusual. But anyway, back to this morning, what we have is a cold start to the day. There's some frost across northern England and also Scotland. As we go through the day, we'll be heavy and thundery with some hail and wintry on the tops of the mountains. And again, it's going to feel chilly, but it won't be as windy as it was yesterday. The low pressure drifting off in Scotland. That snow level will lift as we go through the course of the day. There'll still be some showers here. And there's a clutch of showers across Northern Ireland, Wales and Southwest England on the very tops of the hills. So a cold start to the day. And in the south, we've got a bit more cloud and this little runner scooting across the English Channel, bringing some rain with it, particularly to the Channel Islands. But as it clears, below average up to 15. Baloo and Dan, they're going to get milder as we head into the weekend, but it's also going to be wet and windy. Again, Carol, thank you so much. Pleasure. Good morning, it's a day of sunshine and showers today. Some of the showers will be heavy and thundery with some hail, wintry on the tops of high ground, and it's going to be a cool day, but the winds will be a little bit lighter. I'll have all the details coming up. Cold start to the day, Lou, and it is going to be a fairly cool day today once again. A lot of showers in the forecast, as you can see, this lovely rainbow. They'll move in towards Fife and Lothian in the borders. Could be wintry too in the hills of Northern Ireland and Wales. And then we've got this rain coming in across the southwest. And I'll tell you more about that in half an hour. Dan and Lou. I can hardly wait, Carol. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Pleasure. Here are some heavy showers in the forecast, not just heavy, but with hail and thunder embedded in them. And also on the tops of the hills, we're looking at some snow. And once again, it's going to feel chilly with temperatures below average for the time of year. So we've had some wintry showers down to about 150 metres in Scotland this morning. That snow level will rise as we go through the day. The showers will continue. We've also got showers across Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest of England. And thicker cloud with some rain starting to show its hand in the southwest. So here we're looking at overnight low of four. But generally speaking, it's going to be a cold night once again with a widespread frost. So tomorrow, if we pick up this band of rain, it moves across the English Channel and the Channel Islands. We just clip the far south of southern England. Then it clears. It will brighten up be a lot of dry weather and a lot of sunshine. That is an area of low pressure. Now, as it moves across us, it's not only going to bring in wet and windy weather. The wind direction is changing to more of a southwesterly. So that's a milder direction for us, as represented by the ambers and the yellows across much of the UK, not quite getting into the far north of Scotland. But it does mean this weekend, although it turns milder, it's also going to be more unsettled, Dan. Thank you very much for that, Carol.